Good morning. It is November 5th, and the reading today is from Each Day a New Beginning. Um, <laughs> okay, perhaps this very instant is your time, Louise Bogan. The only lessons that matter for our lives at this time will come to us today. Just as what we needed and were ready for yesterday came yesterday, tomorrow ensures more of the same. Concerning ourselves with any other moment but the present prevents us from responding when the teacher appears. In years gone by, we perhaps hung on to yesterday's problems, and we may str still struggle to hang on to them. Or, perhaps, we try to see too far ahead, but we are learning that there is a right time for all growth, a right time for all experiences, and the right time may not fit our timetable. What doesn't come our way today will come when the time is right. Each day we are granted just what is needed. We need not worry about the future. It will offer us whatever rightly comes next. But it can't do so until we have experienced these 24 hours before us. <laughs> there is wonder and joy awaiting me each day. The growth I experience is just what is needed at this time. I am a student and the teacher will appear. It's so hard to do this. And I think that's why so many of these readings are about just that and staying in today. And... Um, you know, we don't have to hang on to yesterday's problems, but that's a lot easier said than done. Because sometimes it takes me where I'm, my head is spinning like a top, and all I can do is think about, oh, I should have done this, or why didn't I do that, or why did that person do that? Um, and then you have, oh my God, I have to, I have to go to such and such tomorrow night, and um, so-and-so is going to be there and, oh, huh, I, I have to, I have to do this and do that. And, and, you know, staying in the now is so much easier. Um, what's right in front of me. When, when I started doing what's right in front of me, when I started to learn that we only have one day, we only have one time, it's now, that's when things started to really, truly change in, in life. And, and not necessarily in my personal life right away. It was more so in my work life. When I when I first came, sorry, keep bumping. When I first came around into learning about this recovery 12-step stuff, um, they always say, do the next right thing. Do the next right thing. Do what's right in front of you. And when I started doing that with my work, that's when everything started to change for the better. That's where I could really see the results and the evidence that doing what's right in front of you is so much more effective. And when I started doing that, life changed. I mean, the, the trajectory of my career was in hard to describe. I never in a million years thought I would go from being a uh, sales rep to director of sales for a, a, a very decent sized company um, and and having success, right? I, I, I never even a million years imagined it. Not even, didn't even think that that was an option. So I guess my point there is, um, is I'm glad that this, the, there's these constant reminders to stay in the moment because especially right now when I really have no idea what's going to happen next or, or where this journey is taking me um, if I can just do what's in front of me and if I can just keep myself centered and okay I need to do A to get to B and not worry about what that's going to look like what the path is um, maybe, just maybe, there will be some um, very, I don't know, good results because that's what's happened in the past. I have evidence of that happening in the past. Now, I will say, I'm going to tell on myself that I've been feeling really lousy lately, really uncertain of the what if the steps I'm taking are the right ones or if they're going to net results or blah 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 you know I'm, I'm really um 
not doubting because there's no doubt that that this is important to me but I've been really feeling a little little shaky right and 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 I think that that's absolutely normal um but I keep going I don't you know I I, I just have faith that if I and I have proof that it's worked in the past so I'm just going to keep putting one foot in front of the other and keep learning and keep growing and keep showing up and I I believe that you know there's no quick fix this is this is one thing I did learn there's no secret sauce there's no quick fix there's no if you do these things for certain you will get these results that's just not the truth what the truth is is continuous effort and relentless forward motion is what breeds results. That's the truth. That you keep showing up and you keep putting out effort. And it doesn't have to be hard and it doesn't have to be um, crazy intense, but it can just be showing up every day and doing, doing the next thing that's on your plate. And, and life, life will unfold in ways, I mean, at least it has for me in the past. So I have to trust that. I have to trust that. And I, and I, and I know that deep down in my heart. So I hope you can trust that too. And I hope you can find what your next right thing is and perhaps have some great moments of clarity and, and self acceptance and self love. And, um, you know, that's the difference today is that I'm not doubting myself so much. I guess that's what, I guess that's, I'm not doubting my abilities anymore. So we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. Um, I have a link for a giveaway that I'm doing for Awkward and Awesome, and it's in the notes, uh, you know, underneath the screen over here. <laughs> So um, you could definitely sign up to win. There's two people going to win a book called The Four Agreements, which has been a life changer, m monumentally amazing book for me. All you have to do is sign up for my email list and share it with people that you think might be interested in my work. Have a wonderful day. Peace. Namaste. And be good. Be well.